Okay guys, hi guys, I have um, a huge dollar store haul and Walmart haul for you guys today. Um, I'll try to go through them quickly so this video is not too long, um, but I went to the two different dollar stores and uh, two different Walmarts and um, I'm going to show you everything I picked up for decorating and doing some crafts with the kids um, and some DIYs on my own and just um, um, some other various things. Okay guys? So this paper, you can see this um, glitter paper, it's glitter craft paper, it comes two in a pack, it's a dollar and I am going to be using this um, for accents on the cards that I'll be making. I'm going to be making a few Christmas cards this year. Not all of them, but a few. Um, so that will be... Um, I'm going to try that out. So if it turns out good, guys, I'll show you. But um, I just bought gold for the cards. Um, sorry, not gold for the cards. I bought silver. Okay, silver, and I bought green. Okay, so I'm going to do some Christmas tree, um, just simple Christmas trees on the cards with those. Okay, then I bought um, three more packets in the gold, red, and green, which are the theme colors this year for us at home. And um, I'm going to be making a banner to go along here. Um, that will say Happy Holidays. So I just bought, I believe uh, there are 12 letters. So um, since there are four, uh, two sheets in here, I can get four letters because I'll just use half to make one letter and then the other half to make the other letter. And then I'll string them along. And I bought um, this ribbon, elastic ribbon. Um, to string them along and then hang them up. So I'll probably use one color, um, most likely the gold, um, possibly the green. I might use the green. Anyways, that's that for that project. So that's a DIY that's coming up. I bought some glitter as well to go with the cards. Um, so um, I'll just be using glue. Um, I've seen videos where they use embossing, um, not, not not embossing ink, but some kind of ink and then they, they stick the glitter to it, but I won't be doing that. I'm just going to be using the stuff I have on hand at home. So I'll be using some um, glue, um, just some regular school glue, tacky glue, and then I'll be using um, the glitter sprink sprinkling it on and see how it turns out. So I'll show you guys in a video how it turns out and um, and then let you guys know. Okay, so this was two dollars. This was also a dollar, as well as the the glitter paper. This was three dollars. These are dry erase markers from Crayola, washable dry erase erase, and it says it washes clean um, from clothes and hands. And I thought this was great. It has a low odor. It's a broad marker, and I am going to be using this in the studio with my whiteboard for my students. Um, so I think that is an excellent, um, you know, because it's very colorful and I think kids like color, colorful stuff. Then I went ahead and I found, I, I don't know if you remember in my previous haul, I had the fatter, um, broader type uh, Crayola washable markers. Well, I found the thin ones and I bought these to try and see how they work on the cards that I want to make. So, um... I don't know if I'll be doing any cards like that yet this year um, or um, where I need to color in but I'm thinking I might so I bought a package for that and then I thought well I might need another package because I'll probably be using the green and red more and they'll probably run out and that's so I probably need you know maybe another package so these were 250 each whereas in the Walmart and stuff, it sells for four sixty nine or something like that here. So this is almost half the price and I thought that was an excellent deal. And you can never have too much markers when you have three kids, three small kids. Um, just they like to draw with them. I don't know what it is about markers as opposed to pencil crayons or crayons, but 
they really do love markers and you know I can kind of see why because they are vibrant and I, I do like markers myself just because of the vibrant the vibrancy of the colors um, even if they're pastel like just when you mark on the paper as opposed to marking with a crayon or a pencil crayon you can really I mean obviously you tell the difference and these you know if you color them really nicely can look very professional um, I also bought another extra pack because my son, I'm going to give it to my son who is starting to have a lot of projects and needs to sometimes write um, on his project and I thought these are good, the fine tips are good for that. And these are the Color Max, so it says our, our brightest, truest colors yet. So if you go to the Dollarama right now, they have a ton of Crayola products. Almost all of the Crayola products are there and um, you know for a fraction of the cost that you would pay at the, um, the retail store. Um, okay so on to decorations. So I bought this wreath. It's a gold wreath. Um, it has the plastic at the back. This is $125. I paid for this. It's a small wreath. Um, I plan to hang this up on one of the doors in the studio. So, uh, but I, I thought this was a little plain, so what I'm going to do is I have some of the little ball um, ornaments, uh, kind of like these, but they're different colors, red and green, um, and gold, And but I don't think I'll use the gold on this one, and I have some ones that just kind of fell off this you know the thing to hold, to put the string through, so I'm going to use them to stick them on, just intersperse them and I I might you know try to find I don't know some berries or something and stick them in but I'm not sure about that the balls I think would be um, enough and I'm gonna try to do that and then um, hang it up so attach a well it has a string already so I might just use the string or I might put my own ribbon and a red ribbon and hang it up um, so that's that then I have I bought two more in the red, so here's one, and then here's two, and they are both all 125. And what I plan to do with these now is I am going to put them. Um, so this is my dining room right here, and I am going to put them on the wall on either side of my photo gallery, and. Before I do that, I bought these poinsettias. So what I'll be doing is, um, you know, laying them around the wreath. And I think they take about six. Um, that's what I kind of averaged in the store. We'll see. If I need to go back and get more, I will. Um, but so I actually bought 12, of, uh, six packets, packages. What did I buy? Yes. One, two, three, one. Two, three, four, five, five. Oh, I thought I bought six. I'm gonna have to go back and get one more. It's a good thing I'm doing this video. Um, okay, so I do need six at least. So I am gonna have to go back again to the store, which I didn't want to do because. Um, I'm going to check my other bags, but anyways, um, I do need probably two more, and um, that's what I'll be doing with that. So it's actually going to be poinsettias. It's not going to really look like this, but I just wanted this one with the red background so that if any of it did show out of the poinsettias um, in between, then it will be, co you know, will be covered there. So now um, my battery's starting to die, guys, but I'm going to try to do this quickly. I bought these bells for $1.25. I have some plant holders hanging up on the side of the house, and I am going to just put them onto the plant holder, and they're just going to hang um, in the air. So I bought two of those because I have three hangers. Now they only had two of the red, and I really want the red because I think that shows up from afar, from the street. So I actually went ahead and purchased this red star, which is about the same size, and I'll probably put this in the middle. And it was actually two dollars. Um, 
but you know that's all they really had to match so then I went to a different dollar store and I saw that they had tons more of every color in this bell so like the gold green and red and silver so anyways you can check for that um, if you like then I bought these two sets of bows um, because I don't need the silver I just need the red gold and green because the wrapping paper that I got is that theme it has the red gold and green I don't know I'm just liking the red gold and green then they had um, ribbon so this is all for gift wrapping these are all a dollar each and there are um, one two three nine nine bows in here um, but they're the shiny metallic ones if you can see so they are like the ones that come in the package but they uh, you know a bulk package but they are the shiny ones then the shiny ribbon so I need to wrap up the calendars with this and um, you know just some various other things and projects and stuff okay then I bought these um, these other poinsettias, I should tell you, which came three in the pack for a dollar. So these were two for a dollar. They were bigger. Then I got the smaller ones, three for a dollar. And this I'm going to use to intersperse in the garland that I have downstairs over my piano, over on the shelf over my piano. Okay, then these balls I bought, purchased these. This was two dollars. This big, and there are three six nine ten balls inside so I bought the kind of a me uh, medium size or because there was a bigger size to this and they do have even like really gigantic balls but I want to get this for a, um, a centerpiece that I'm going to be making for the table um, with the like an ornament ball tree so hopefully I'll be able to get to that and um, if I do I will definitely make a video on that guys and, and I'll show you how I do that and I bought the medium size so this would be the large this would be the medium and this would be the small because you do need three sizes as you work your way up the tree so hopefully I have enough then I just went to a different dollar store and I picked up these bows which I kind of need because I put the garland over the door but it kind of needs something in the two corners of the door to kind of um, finish it off so this would be great I, I have I can put it on one and then I have a mirror up here too and then I have one bolt left over so I will find something to do with that or put it on the tree um, then I bought these nice these Christmas erasers aren't these so super cute guys these were $1.25 and I should mention the bows were a dollar oh actually there is one missing Oh, guys, I think I was in a rush. Um, I'll probably have to go back and show them and get the, the one that was missing. But anyways, or, or I might just use it like that. Um, so the doll, uh, you get nine erasers. Um, I am going to be giving these to my students. And, and then along with a, a nice shiny pencil, Christmas pencil. Then I bought this embroidery floss because I, I want to do another DIY um, with it so that will be coming up as well and hopefully I'll have time to do all of these DIYs I really just need the blonde and the white I might have to go back and get more white but really I need the, the blonde and the white and um, like this light yellow and the white so um, I can use the other ones later but uh, that's it just came in a package and this was a dollar so I figured I couldn't go wrong getting all those other colors. Okay guys, so that's it. That's what I got from the dollar store. Uh, okay guys, I'm, uh, here is the Walmart um, part of the haul now. So I just picked these things up from two different Walmarts yesterday and today. And <clears throat> I picked up these candy canes uh, for $1.97. Now my kids don't like the peppermint ones. They think it's hot. So when I saw these ones, and they have different flavors guys. They have watermelon, raspberry. This one happens to be cherry. Just because I wanted the red and white. Because depending on the flavor, that's the color. They had the red, green, and white. And that was the watermelon. But I wasn't sure if they would like the watermelon flavor when they ate it. So I got the cherry ones. So most of these are to put on the tree but some of them are to give to my students. 
Okay, so I'll be taking from that. Um, <clears throat> then I bought this glue runner, which is for the cards. So it's just like a glue runner that you can run um, along the paper to stick them together uh, instead of using glue. Um, then I bought the cone for the tree that I'm going to make. You saw the ornament balls from the dollar store, so I bought the cone. And I will have to cut it down to size, probably. I will have to see if I need to do that. That was $5.97. And probably if I planned it out, I might have bought this earlier when it was on sale, if it, they had a sale. But I didn't. Um, so it is what it is, but it will still be a much cheaper to make the ornament tree than than buying one ready made because they're like thirty five dollars in the store um, for this size um, I think this size and I am going to make it for six seven eight nine ten fifty okay so it's gonna cost me ten fifty Plus, I guess you can add a little bit more for the glue um, that I had that I'm going to be using, but I have that on hand, so I won't count that. So let's say 1050. If you want to add in the glue, let's say 1150. Um, okay. Then I bought these pearl beads just because they're just the simple round but iridescent beads, not iridescent but shiny beads. Um, they have I bought them because they have green and red in there, and and silver or gold. Um, silver, I think they are. So I bought them to make um, the wreaths that my my daughter wanted to make um, soon. Um, that's a, It'll be an easy um, activity that you can do with your kids. Then I also bought these batteries, which just saved me because I just took two of them out of there. It was four. I should mention um, these are fourteen ninety seven. The batteries. Uh, so it's a good thing I bought them and I have two extra. And then um, the, are, are, the beads were three fifty. dollars um, Sorry, going back to the batteries, I, guys, I should mention these are the Ultimate Lithium. I find my camera works the best with those ones, the Ultimate Lithium. Um, okay, so anyways, um, I also bought this Hot Paws scarf. Now this was in the men's section, but this is for my son. And I've been looking for a scarf that was two layers, like a double layer, but this is still a single layer. So what I'm going to do, since it's a wide scarf, see it's like really wide, I am just going to fold it in half and I am going to stitch it with my sewing machine. I am going to stitch it along the edge and make it like this width and then it will be doubled so when the really cold weather does hit us if it does this year um, we'll be ready for that so that was $12.97 I paid for that I believe denim sorry my my kid my son's clothing so I paid ten dollars for this dress pant is that right Yes, ten dollars for the pant. Okay, so it's just a simple dress pant in navy blue. Um, and then I bought this denim. Um, it's like a dark wash, um, like really dark navy blue denim. And this was seven dollars for this one. And then I also got it in a kind of a more sand washed, so it kind of looks more gray. Um, it's like a sand washed black. Um, so I don't know if that's showing up in the, the camera, but I paid ten dollars for that one. So so one at seven and then ten. Then I bought some dress shirts because he has a concert. They're going to be performing in the school concert. All my kids, so um, teen and a twelve, just because I didn't know which one would fit him. So I may have to return one of them, possibly. Um, so they were ten dollars each. And then the belt was also ten dollars, so everything was ten dollars. So altogether, his outfit cost ten, twenty, thirty dollars, and then his shoes were twenty dollars, which I will show you in a minute because I forgot to take that out. Um, then I got this shirt. I'll just throw this in here from Children's Place. It was tw originally twenty. 
9.95. Can you guys see that? Will my camera focus? Don't know if you can see that, but it is 29.95. There you go. And I got it for 16 something. I don't know. Altogether with tax, it was 18.97. So not bad. I'm just gonna grab the shoes and then I'll show you those, and that will be. Okay guys, here are the shoes. These were $19.94. Um, just some simple loafers. Oh, so there you go guys. That's my haul for the last couple of days. And I still do have to run out to the store. Like I said, I I um, didn't realize I didn't pick up enough poinsettias. And one of the bowls are missing from the card. And... Um, yeah, and I just still didn't get my daughter's outfit. So I'll probably be going to the Real Canadian Superstore and seeing what they have, if they have something there. I didn't get to go to Gymboree. I went to Old Navy, but I didn't really look around in there um, for any of their clothes. Um, so I went to Walmart and Children's Place and H&M to look for their stuff, and I did not find anything except for my son's stuff so at least he's done and all his stuff came from Walmart so I I was hoping I mean they had girls dresses there but I didn't like the colors and I don't know some of them didn't have sleeves on them and I kinda wanted them with sleeves um, and stuff like that so I will be looking and if anything if I cannot find that then I will be heading back to Walmart and purchasing something from there probably and um, trying to just you know get it done because their concert is Wednesday it's now Friday and their concert is next Wednesday so I don't want to be you know um, stuck not having something for her because that just not that wouldn't be good at all um, okay guys, so that's it. Please go ahead and like this video if you want to see more, um, let me know. If you want to see my DIYs, let me know. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. I will try to answer them as best I can. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming DIYs that I have for the holidays. Okay guys, um, so I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.